And at the time, the main takeaway from the call was the president doesn't care about Ukraine. So we're going to have a tough road ahead to convince him that it's important enough for him to schedule an Oval Office meeting for President Zelensky and ultimately to release this hold on security assistance. That was the takeaway. And that's what I referred to repeatedly in the coming weeks whenever it became, became relevant. And I, I'll remind you, uh, uh, sir, that, that one more important point. Um, throughout this time, as I've testified, we were trying to find uh, a formula, things we could do with the Ukrainians that would convince the president that they were worth talking to. Maybe, maybe Mr. Holmes, the takeaway was he thought it was no big deal because he already knew. He didn't remember it because we already had the transcript. No, I, he, I didn't remember the, he didn't remember the, we, we had the, 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 the Trump Zelensky transcript had been out for two months. Sir, I believe that when Even I- Even though you're repeatedly bringing this conversation up, as you said, to everybody, when it's, when there, anytime there's a talk about Ukraine, you, you recall this conversation, maybe it was the transcript, the call happened on the July 25th, that's four months ago, the transcript's been out for two months, Maybe the ambassador thought, this is, this is nothing new here. But Shazam, last week, you come forward with supposedly this new information. There is nothing different in there than what we had on the transcript. Sure. Maybe that's the reason their star witness, their first witness, didn't bring it up. But they had to have something. So you're their closing witness because you overheard, you overheard the president talking to Ambassador Sondland. Sir, if I could answer, I see four seconds left on the clock. Um, Mr. I believe Mr. that Mr. Holmes, you may take as long as you need. Thank you, sir. I believe that Ambassador Taylor did already know when I briefed him when I returned from vacation on the 6th. He, it was not news to him that the president was pressing for a Biden investigation. That's not what I asked. I asked why he didn't share with us. Mr. Well, Jordan, Mr. Jordan, please it, do not interrupt the witness any further. Uh, Mr. Holmes, this, this is exactly Mr. Jordan's my, time has expired, but yours is not. Okay, thank you, You may sir. answer the question. <laughs> uh, it's exactly my point. Um, I briefed the call in detail to the deputy chief of mission, went away for a week, come back, I refer to the call, and everyone is nodding. Of course that's what's going on. Of course the president is pressing for a Biden investigation before he'll do these things the Ukrainians want. There was nodding agreement. So did I go through every single word in the call? No, because everyone by that point agreed. It was obvious what the president was pressing for. And Ambassador Taylor, as you've just outlined, had all those other interactions with all But he all didn't these share it with us. Mr. Jordan, please do not interrupt. But sir, sir, then, <laughs> but, but, but sir, my vivid recollection of an event I was involved with was a touchstone experience that to me validated and what, Mr. Sir, Jordan, could, please what, what we interrupt. believed. And Ambassador Taylor was not in that call. And so he all was, of a sudden last week, Mr. you got to come Mr. tell Jordan, us, right? Mr. Jordan, you know your boss you will allow the witness to answer the question. I'll, I'll, I'll finish with this. Thank you. He was involved in a number of other interactions, as you've outlined, that brought him to the same conclusion. It is quite possible that that- but He doesn't share the Mr. one that Mr. the guy Jordan, he Mr. Jordan, he doesn't share Mr. that Mr. Jordan. One. You may not like the witness's answer, but we no, will hear I, I, it. There wasn't an answer. Mr. Jordan, we will hear the witness's answer. Have you concluded, Mr. Holmes? I have, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Himes. <laughs>